Hey there, everybody! Welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation. We are the only web show about the movies that is so ahead of the curve that we have already done our reboot with an all-woman cast and then re-reboot with an all-male cast again. We're so, fucking awesome. Sony, get in line behind us. Ghostbusters, get behind us. Don't cross the streams, you guys. We've already done it. Look to us for the future, people. I am your host, Steve Skelton. I am here with fellow film pig, Todd Robert Anderson. Our third film pig, uh, Steve Falk. Stephen Falk could, um, not, be could not be there, but we do have a special guest this episode. Film pig, Stephen Falk. Hi, you guys. Thanks, thanks for you. coming. Thanks, oh, for thanks for having me. I'm, I'm, I'm good here. Yeah, that's yeah, no, great. That's, that's exactly good, where you need to be. Great. So let's uh, get things rolling. Just have a little popcorn, everybody. Where's just like, yeah, just get that picked up. Oh, it's scotch. And then yeah. we, no, uh, no, it's, like it's popcorn. It's popcorn. Oh, sorry. Popcorn. Mm, sorry, I'm new. Oh, mm. oh. Mm. oh that's You're so good. You're super busy. I can't believe you had time to do yeah. this. I know. Thanks for having me. This is a, a real pleasure. I've been a big fan for like two years. Wow. Thank you, thank you yeah. very that's much. That's amazing. That's yeah. great because yeah. you have a show yeah. on uh, that's on FXX this yeah. summer mm -hmm. called uh, you're, you're the Worst. You're the Ooh. Worst, yeah. yeah. And oh, you're deep in the writing process? Like, where are you in the... Yeah, we're, yeah. Writing, uh, we're writing season two right now. So ah. uh, season two will be airing, I don't know, sometime later in the summer or Late so. summer, early fall area, somewhere in there. Oh, that's it's fantastic. A great show. Thanks, thanks, guys. So, yeah. Thanks for having me. If you don't have FXX... Uh, get on, get to your cable company and get that so you can be prepared. Yeah. Or I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be on it. iTunes or steal it. You know, steal it. Game of Thrones it. Everybody he's just not, owns it. He's not precious about the piracy <laughs> thing at okay. all. Well, uh, let's jump into our uh, first segment, like oh, we always okay. do. It's something we call rash judgments. Mm. Mm. Right? Mm. And that's I'm assuming there's going to be a graphic there. Uh, Rash Judgments is where we take a look at the movies that are coming out soon to a theater near you. This weekend. This weekend even, and let you know whether you should or should not go see these movies based entirely on our own dickish opinions. Because we haven't seen them. We haven't seen them. We haven't been to screeners. We haven't been sent screeners. We're not allowed uh, to press events or uh, uh, anything r involving the movies. So. Well, it's because our voices are so truthful. Yeah. That the studios are terrified of us. We uh, are. We're just. We're dropping truth bombs. So we, on that's the what we do. So Todd, uh, drop some truth bombs. I'm gonna, my truth bomb this week is about a movie called Zombievers. There we go. Uh, this movie is about uh, three young, beautiful uh, girls. Uh, wow, it's that a was, Merchant Ivory that, film. That, <laughs> that no, was so uh, creepy well, the way he said that. <laughs> It was it? <laughs> well, he really emphasized young. <laughs> yeah, that's young, true. much too young for me. <laughs> to jack off to. To jack off to. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. I will anyway. <laughs> I fight the power. Um, <sighs> so, Zombievers, um, this is obviously an exercise in, in subtlety. Um, so, there are girls, you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but sometimes people refer to the girls' genitals as beavers. Oh. As beavers. Oh, now I get the title. So, well, but wait. I get half of the title. Wait, wait, wait. This is the twist. Mm. Is there are actual oh. beavers who what? are infected with some kind of zombie disease. What? Yeah. And the zombie beavers, oh, actual beavers, oh, infect the girls, of course, turning them also into zombie beavers. Oh. So zombie beavers here, double meaning. That's clever. Possibly even triple meaning. I don't. No. Yeah, that's the twist. No, that's the M Night Shyamalan twist. At the end, is there's a third meaning to zombie beavers. What that is, we don't know. We haven't seen the entire film, but I'll, I'll say this. This looks like a movie that Troma would have put out in the 80s. Are you guys yeah. familiar with yeah. Troma? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Like garbage. It does, yeah, it does have a trauma movies. feel to it. It has a yeah. trauma feel. It feels like one of those 80s exploitation horror movies that's very silly and, and, and very fun. Um, it looks like uh, it could be highly amusing, however clunky. Um, this kind of movie is right up my alley. Uh, not just because of the young girls, but because of my probably, affinity probably for didn't need to mention that uh, affinity for actual beavers. So I'm saying yes to zombie beavers. Check it out on your living room couch because I'm sure it's one of those VOD multi-platform <laughs> releases, and you don't have to go anywhere, which is great, and you don't have to hire babysitters to go out to see zombie beavers. You can just watch it in your home with your wife. And uh, and and you guys, when it gets slow, you can make out, 
and I like making out. So, Zom Beavers. All right. Well, uh, thanks, Todd, uh, for that uh, raucous thumbs up for Zom Beavers. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Falk. Special guest. Stephen Falk, special guest, uh, Rash Judgment Truth Bomb. Do you like humorless, self-important, <laughs> leathery, middle-aged actors leathery. who are also alcoholics? I keep my change in them. I want to be one. Then you're going to love <laughs> The Gunman, starring Sean Penn. Ah. Now, Sean Penn, uh, this is based on a book, I guess, called The Gunman, I guess. Uh, and he's a gunman. Yeah. He's a guy, this isn't a prequel to Gun Man. No, it's a Gun with Man. Christopher Lambert. He, did, and he, did, he did some bad stuff, you guys. Uh, it's directed by uh, Taken's uh, Pierre Morel, a Frenchman who also did the Transporter movies and uh, that uh, uh, To Paris with Love. See, from, that's from Paris, Paris whatever. From Paris with Love. Uh, it stars uh, also stars uh, Idris Elba, who everyone oh, loves. Oh, love Idris. Uh, Ray Winstone, whom everyone loves, yes. and Javier Bardem, oh. who everyone loves, and who's fucking Penelope Cruz. Now, uh, this is an R-rated action movie uh, about, about secrets and violence and explosions and, and right and wrongs and admitting you did bad stuff to your lady who's French. And, um, uh, and you know, it's, it's a, Sean Penn's trying to be an action guy. Uh, I totally am on board with, with that effort. So to support his transformation, uh, I'm, it's like transparent, but instead of going from just a self-important Haiti save, saver, he's trying to turn himself into an international, international violent star a la, uh, um, uh, what's his name? Liam Neeson. Uh, Liam Neeson, Liam Neeson yeah. yeah. So go see uh, the, the, the gun, gun, man, gun, gun, man, the gun, gun man. man. I think it's great that there are all of these guys who, it, during the 80s, when these kind of right-wingy uh, action revenge picture shows were like Stallone were too and good Schwarzenegger. For them. Yeah. They were too good, they were too artistic, but now they're doing that. Although he did do that uh, that movie, uh, what was it, with Christopher Walken and Chris Penn. Uh, oh, At Close Range. Oh, at Close, at Close Range, range with yes. the, the best tagline of all time, like father, like son, like hell. Yeah, I love <laughs> At Close Range. That's yeah. killer. Yeah. All right, hey, you know, guys. Did I do it right? You did it right. That you was were a good great. rash Thank judgment. You so much. That, out of the gate. Out of the gate. First time guest. Really, out of the gate. really well done. Now, it's. I know it's against protocol. Oh. Oh. But I have a rash judgment. Shut. What? Uh, as the host. It usually shut doesn't the happen. Door. It usually doesn't happen. Having watched, the host never does a it rash judgment. It never does, but... Very rarely. Uh, Very rarely. But we also like to always have three rash judgments. Because oh. so, three is the magical yeah. number. Sure. It's the pyramid Comedy? of... Laughter. I don't know. You threesome. write comedy. Is that how you do? Oh, threesomes are threesomes. the magic threesomes. number. It's a threesome. So, it's a threesome. Uh, so I have a rash judgment, and it is this. My rash judgment is for the movie Insurgent. Is which that how is, you have to say the which title? Which is Insurgent. It's the second movie in the young adult Divergent. After Divergent. Divergent. <laughs> uh, which is, is the third Resurgent. It's. <laughs> Oh god, it might be. Resurgent, blow blurgent, whatever. Something urgent. Blow blurgent. Hey, this is urgent. Um, I want it to be blow blurgent. Insurgent. Now, I actually <laughs> saw Divergent. And Sorry. I didn't Why? care for it. <laughs> I got a lot of time on my hands. <laughs> And you love tweens. Yeah, and I can't love the tweens. He has not matured past no. his tweener years. Now, what, uh, in Divergent, the movie is about, a again, a dystopian future where teens are unfulfilled. And, but in this dystopian future, instead of everyone being separated into physical districts, like in Hunger Games, everyone's separated into classes of some kind they're like there's like this the smart people there's the pacifist farmers there's the intelligent people who are evil because intelligence is evil um and then there's like the the sort of uh like the stevedores like the, the dock workers <laughs> yeah. and so and people and the kids have to choose but and then but she's uh the person that the lead shailene, shailene morley uh, she's a person that is like, but I don't choose because I'm a divergent girl tween. And, <clears throat> and it's not good, and it's all really long, and then only the teens can save the world from the evil intellectuals. So Insurgent is after all that when there's a oh, special box. Jesus Christ. Shut up, guys. Jesus. There's a special box that Sorry, only man. the teens can unlock. And... 
Is it a pussy <laughs> box? That was rash judgments. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. Thank that, you so much. That was, you, just, uh, you just short circuited. I just trailed off because I can't. That's you can't. I can't. I get it. Uh, so that was really well done, everybody. Thank I thought you. that was a really successful. Yeah. It was uh, amazing how good his yeah. was. Are we done? Yeah. Is that it? No, no, no. no, no. Now oh, we got. Show. We have something show. really interesting to look at. Now. What is it? And uh, it's kind of it's a it's it's sometimes we do behind the scenes stuff. Sometimes uh, we show trailers. This is actually kind of more of a documentary level. Uh, uh, story that we have that is about a couple that is having some troubles. Uh, oh, some I've heard about this. Troubles. This is a movie. Yeah, and this was big on the in the festival. Yeah, circuit yeah. Year. So well, it's year, it, right? yeah, it's more like a docu drama kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it's very popular now, and uh, I don't want to give too much away because it's, um, it's really idea. it's. Uh, oh wait, hold on. You got something? Yeah. You got something? What do you got? I think probably he's he's he, no he's he's hearing he's getting the signal to oh, okay. give it to him. Okay. The okay. Right away. right away. Right away. Okay. Right away. Now roll it. Hey, first. Horrible Bosses 2 was a miss. Then Hot Tub Time Machine 2 completely tanked. And now unfinished business. I mean, what's going on here? This isn't us. I thought things were going just fine. I thought so too. I don't know, maybe we need to, you know, look deeper. Maybe we need to see somebody. I don't know what else to do. Okay, fine, I'll make some calls. I'll find just the right person, okay? Uh, okay. I'm, too, I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm just too... Sorry. So, how long have you two been together? Oh, uh, since college. That is a very long time. Congratulations. And uh, have you ever been in therapy before? Nah, we never needed it. At least we didn't think so. Well, maybe you didn't. But the important thing to keep in mind is that you have realized that you need help now. And that means that your relationship is important enough to you to work on. And I think that's something that you both can be very proud of. Now, how would you characterize the problem, Steve? Oh, um, I don't know. I mean, I guess we're just not connecting right now. Okay. When was the last time that you two were intimate together? <laughs> what do you even mean? <laughs> what the hell? Um, when was the last time you two had sex? <laughs> oh, God, wait, you, you, wait, you think that maybe the How did you get that idea? <laughs> um, well, this is couples therapy. Yeah, but we're not gay. Then why are you here? <laughs> Ow! We're a bromance. Yeah. A what? Uh, we're buddies, but our story plays out kind of like a standard romantic comedy, just without the sex. Think Wedding Crashers, I Love You Man, old school. <laughs> but lately, we've been really unpopular, and I, I don't know why. I mean, we're still the same old bros. What went wrong? Okay. I, I think I see the problem. Here, let me see if I can explain. Have you considered that maybe your audience has matured? That perhaps the novelty of watching grown men behave like frat boys has finally worn off? Maybe people are ready for a more sophisticated comedy concept. So what are we supposed to do? Grow the fuck up. But the hangover! Oh God, yes, the hangover! Hangover two, hangover three. Uh. Now, get out of my office. Uh, next! Who are you? We are characters from classic children's fables. Repurpose for the action and horror genres, sir. <clears throat> it's gonna be one of those days, I guess. That 
was an amazing glimpse into a collapsing That was a glimpse. <laughs> <laughs> the word glimpse struck me as really funny at that moment. But it was true. It I was mean, true. You know, I thought it was well acted. It was, it very was, it was so yeah. good. I mean, like the the, the, guys. the two the two guys that were their relationship it felt so like real and electric and grounded. Mm -hmm. It felt grounded. Yeah, it felt like there was a shared history. Yeah, absolutely. Like there was, you know, you could just see their whole lives together it was in their cool. eyes. There was a lot of. Yeah, that was yeah. a nice backstory that you could just see without being told about it. Well, I mean, you guys, we did... I really like the guy who looked like Tom Hanks, too. He was okay. <laughs> we accomplished so much in this episode. Mm. I mean, I'm reluctant to even recap it. I don't but, think you should. But what I will say mm. is you're welcome for uh, the entertainment. Um, I thought it was Because great. it was nonstop. I have an entertainment and, erection. Yeah, right and now. I want to thank... Uh, Todd Robert Anderson and his entertainment erection for being with us. Huge. Um, you can't see it because it's behind the counter. No, but it's huge. Yeah, it's uh, and a huge, huge thanks to our special guest yeah, this week, Stephen like, Fall. This guy is great. Yes, yeah, so this is. Um, I, I don't know. I, I I sit at home and watch you guys mm. every week, and it's just like I'm always like. Ah. If I could ever be up there. Oh. So this is like a dream. Come back. Yeah. Anytime you want to come back. Really? It's your welcome. This is a dream. Because thanks you're a you delight. You're, you're a total delight as a guest. Well, this has been just an absolute pleasure. I want to thank you, um, the audience. Oh, can I say the... Um... Oh, if you want, oh, yeah. yeah. Take us if out. You're take a us fan, out. Yeah, yeah. Go, 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 go. Go ahead. Go ahead, go, please. Do it. Okay. Until next week, uh, save the aisle seats for us. No, no, no. That's no. not That's it. not That's not it. Uh, that's... Oh. The Siskel and Ebert. Uh, oh, 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 sorry. Good night and good luck. Eh, no, no, that's, that's no, that's not even. I mean, it was good. But that was good. That's it was not, good. That's not what we oh! did. Sorry, I got it mixed up. Until next week, uh, Candy Place is not open because there's roaches. It's All close right. enough. That's it's good. close enough. That was good. Yeah. That was fine. I mean, it's not verbatim. Thanks, you guys. <laughs>